Okay. Hello, guys. I uh, haven't recorded for a while, but I am going to probably do my final video on this. P probably one more, maybe, if you guys still don't understand it. But this video is again related to getting um, the police AI script working in one of my previous videos. Most of you tended to uh, understand it, but most of you, I mean, sorry, not most of you. Some of you um, did not understand it, and I believe the part where most people got stuck was on weapons, so I sadly will not be covering how to do the script and stuff again, because my previous video already covers it, and I want to get this done as quickly as possible. So of course, you're going to have to get the police model, so we're just going to search police AI, we should be able to find it very quickly. Um, I cannot find the official model, hold on. So I've got a my models. I have very questionable models saved. I could I uh, don't ask about that. Um cannot model. Uh hang guys, I'm gonna cut the video to where I find it. Alright, I have found it, I had to scroll down a bit, sorry. <laughs> But now we have the model. So uh, now I'm just going to cut to where I get all this set up. Okay, sorry for a lot of cuts, had a problem with the recording. But now he does not attack me. I will also have the previous video in the description on how to do this. Although the only scripting part I will do is how to, of course, do weapons. So again, we'll put this tool in the starter pack. Uh, sorry, I gotta find starter pack. There. So you'll open its script, and um, you have you don't have to know all this code. It's very easy. So what you'll do is you hit Control F. You'll then search take damage, or you could just do take dam, and it could probably uh, find it there. And now. Uh, I will have these in the description again, but uh, you'll have to just paste these lines of code, so I'll just copy that. Uh, make a, another line, I believe, there. If I do get this wrong, it's because I haven't done this in a while, so... Now you just paste that one at the top, and you then hit play. Just wait for my computer to do it. Okay. This weapon works. And I have a wanted level. Now, I probably... I usually just assumed at the end of the video, all you guys know this. But I'm probably... I'm now going to provide a in-depth explanation on how to get this working further. So... Of course, you do just paste these lines of code, but some people have just not been able to get it working. And the only explanations I can come up with is you haven't done the code correctly, or you have probably um, not been able to do the other parts of getting the wanted system working. Like um, some other stuff. Or it's a local script. Now, for some reason, local scripts do not work with this. So, I'm not going to bother trying to find a weapon with a local script, but I'll give you an explanation. So, I will just put in some random local scripts so you can see what the symbol looks like. So, yeah, if you see a symbol, right, like this, and you search take damage in that local script, and take damage does appear in the local script, and you do the same things and it doesn't work, then, uh, yes, you have done nothing wrong, it's just a local script, and for some reason, it does not work. Other reason, yeah, you probably have not um, done the crime system correctly. Now, I'm going to do a very quick explanation on the crime system. So, of course, you'll just go to police, modules, you'll copy crime, and you will put it into service script service. 
you will also go to settings of police, click attack only criminals, put the value on, and you should have it all enabled. Um, yeah, there's not really much else for me to talk about, so I'm just going to give you guys a little bonus on a cool, neat feature that I found of it. So, um, if you're planning to do this in really like an open world game, and of course, since the police only spawn in one location, you can actually, um, like when they die, of course, they have to walk to their police car and use it for fire distances, and you know, you want that instant response time. So you can actually click on the police charger, go to settings, and max inactive, and you change this value, and that's how many seconds it takes until it respawns where the officer spawns. So like, I could do like one second, I don't know why I could do one second, but yeah. Um, I feel like I haven't explained it enough, but I feel like I cannot provide a simpler explanation for this. So, um, I will probably do another video, but I'll have to plan it out further, because this is sort of a rushed video, so. Anyways, I hope you understand it. I will do another one if, um, I'll probably do like another community vote or something on this. But anyways, uh, goodbye.